this one haven't we when you've been here for your sleepovers I definitely remember reading it to Iris and to Amelia not sure if we've had this one or not Charlotte so this one is Peppa Pig and it's called Good Night Peppa and you like Peppa Pig don't you Lachlan once upon a time Granny and Grandpa Pig came round for dinner it was almost time for Peppa and George to go to bed <sighs> yawned Daddy Pig very loudly while they were eating. <laughs> Everyone giggled. Oh, 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 sorry, said Daddy Pig. I'm a little tired. And there they are, they're all sitting round together having their tea. Got pizza, I think, tonight, haven't they? And they look, look like they've got something a bit healthy. Got some tomatoes and cucumber and some lettuce and the odd red glass of wine there as well. Peppa and George weren't tired at all. Can we jump in puddles for just a tiny bit? asked Peppa. Please. Oh, OK, said Daddy, but you must come in at bath time. Peppa and George loved jumping in muddy puddles. They jumped up and down until they were covered in mud. Peppa, George, called Daddy Pig. You must be feeling sleepy after all that jumping. Let's get you in the bath. But, but, Daddy, we're not even a little bit sleepy, replied Peppa. Peppa and George splashed in the bath until they were very nice and clean. I think bath time is over, said Daddy Pig, dripping wet. You must be tired after all that splashing. We're not even a little bit tired, cried Peppa. Splashing Daddy Pig again, <coughs> laughed George. Daddy Pig was soaked. <gasps> Splashing in the bath, a bit naughty. Peppa and George hopped out of the bath. They dried off and put their pyjamas on very slowly. Then they brushed their teeth for an extra long time. Brush, brush, brush. Quick, wash your faces. Granny Pig wants to tuck you in to bed, said Mummy. Yippee, cried Peppa. Gangy, cheered George. I think that's his word for granny, isn't it? He's only a bit little. He's still learning how to say it. Peppa and George were finally ready for bed. They said goodnight to Mummy and Daddy Pig and found Granny Pig in their room. Come on, little one, said Granny Pig. It's bedtime. Hop in. I can't go to bed without Teddy, said Peppa. Dinosaur, dinosaur, cried George. So Granny Pig found Teddy and Mr Dinosaur and tucked everyone in. Good night, Pepper and Teddy, said Granny Pig. Good night, George and Mr Dinosaur. But we aren't even the tiniest bit sleepy, Granny, said Pepper. I see, said Granny Pig. I wonder what will make you sleepy. Can you tell us a bedtime story, said Pepper. Of course, Pepper, said Granny Pig as long as you promise to go to sleep as soon as the story ends. We promise, cried Peppa. Peppa and George loved bedtime stories. Granny Pig began telling a story. Once upon a time there was a beautiful princess, called Peppa, interrupted. Yes, said Granny Pig. And Sir George and the Brave Knight. Peppa interrupted again. Hee hee hee, giggled George. Granny Pig carried on. Princess Peppa and Sir George lived in a castle. I think Peppa was trying to make the story last a bit longer by interrupting Granny Pig, wasn't she? A great big castle in the sky, said Peppa. Granny Pig tried to finish the story. Princess Peppa and Sir George had been playing all day in the castle and were very, very tired. Then the king arrived, cheered Peppa, and a cook and a wizard and a scary dragon dinosaur. Dinosaur, said George. And the cook made them all a giant picnic with sandwiches, cakes, jelly. Peppa listened to all of the foods that she could think of. Look at that lovely picnic. Looks very tasty, doesn't it? 
Grandpa Pig came to find Granny Pig. I'm telling Peppa and George a bedtime story, said Granny Pig. And we promise to go to sleep when the story ends, said Peppa. Oh, I see, said Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig, why don't you leave this to me? I'm good at ending stories. So Granny Pig said goodnight and went downstairs. Grandpa Pig did his best to end the story. After they ate the lovely picnic, everyone fell asleep. The end. But Peppa did not want the story to end. Then they all woke up and their friends arrived, she cried. And they went for a ride in Princess Peppa's carriage and decided to have a great big party. Soon, Daddy Pig came upstairs. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories, he said. Then he whispered quietly to Grandpa Pig, I'll have them asleep in no time. So Grandpa Pig said goodnight and went downstairs. Princess Peppa and Sir George were just about to have a big party, Peppy told Daddy Pig. Oh, I see, he said. Thud, thud, thud. Mummy Pig heard banging, so she came upstairs too. Peppa, George and Daddy Pig were dancing. We're having a party like in the story, said Peppa. They're almost asleep, said Daddy Pig. Thank you, Daddy, said Mummy Pig. I'll take over now. So Daddy Pig said goodnight and went downstairs. Still haven't gone into bed and gone snuggled down and gone to sleep, have they? Goodness me. Mummy Pig tucked Peppa and George back into bed. Then she asked Peppa to tell her the whole bedtime story from the beginning, very quietly. Once upon a time, whispered Peppa, yawning, there was a beautiful Peppa, a princess called Peppa. She lived with Sir George the Brave Knight in a great big castle in the sky. Speaking softly, was making Peppa really, really sleepy. Peppa tried to finish the story, but she just couldn't keep her eyes open. Soon, George fell fast asleep, and so did Peppa. Mummy Pig looked at her two little ones, smiled and whispered, Good night, George. Good night, Peppa. Then she headed downstairs, to find Granny, Grandpa and Daddy Pig. See where they are, shall we? They were all fast asleep. It was bedtime for Peppa and George and it was bedtime for everyone else too. Good night, said Mummy Pig. Good night.